Hey, shorty. You fine. You got a man? Girl. I just want to get all in between that and be like, Ugh. They don't say that, but whatever. <laughs> so, what is the deal with catcalling? And by the way, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, what is the deal with catcalling? Why do we have to deal with that? There are nice ways to get a girl's attention, you know? We don't have to deal with that. With a guy trying to get our attention by be like, Hey shawty, hey ma, hey babe, hey girl, how you doing? All that kind of stuff, you know. It can be like, excuse me miss, uh, miss or ma'am or either way. Those are all great options to catch my attention personally. Ma'am and miss. Don't call me babe, ma, shawty, whichever ways that people have decided to all people nowadays so yeah um first off guys don't get mad when you get denied that's that's actually rude to us like that's rude to me like when you do that that's kind of like a um calling me shawty ma all that kind of stuff like that's like that's like kind of like a friendship thing and I don't know you as a friend I don't even know who you are so you don't have that right to call me ma ma'am i mean not not ma'am obviously you want to be called ma'am but ma shawty all that kind of stuff like that's not cool to me that's not how you catch my attention in the first place so yeah don't get mad when you get denied and you know all kinds of guys get mad when they get denied by a girl that doesn't want to talk to them you know like they always have to cop an attitude and it's just like that's not needed that makes you look stupid calm down so, ladies, you do have a right to deny a man's, you do have a right to deny a man's advances if you do not want to partake in his advances, you know? Um, there's a way at being nice about that, and then there's a way at being, like, a bitch about that. First off, if it's, like, a guy in a suit, he looks a little bit frazzled, and he says, excuse me, ma'am, I don't call him thirsty. Like, don't just... Like, no, I don't deal with thirsty niggas. Like, no. Like, don't just jump straight away to think like he's thirsty. Like, that's kind of rude. Like, th what, what is thirsty? What is this fad that has come out with these names and stuff like that? But yeah, don't just jump straight away because that makes you seem like a bitch, first off. You know, you never know. He might need the time. He might just need a dollar so he can make a phone call. He might just need a dollar. He's missing a dollar to get a taxi. You never know what might be the instances. And that also includes, like, when somebody does call you mom, shawty. You never know what might be the problem with them. But if they really want to get your attention, then it's better to just be like, excuse me, ma'am, excuse me, miss, and stuff like that. And not be like, excuse me, shawty, or uh, babe, or something like that. Like, hey, girl, whatever. That's still kind of rude to correct to catch somebody's attention so yeah it's just uh, depends on the way that you approach someone that will actually help your events the way that you approach someone will actually help your advances a lot better you know you can also be like I'm not interested sorry I'm not interested no thanks no thanks or you can actually just walk off depending on how rude they are and that will make you seem like a bitch you know I've had a couple instances of stuff happening to me that should not have happened that was pretty ignorant on the man's part and it's like one thing happened to me at Walmart you know Walmart was always ghetto and stuff like that and it's like so um, what has actually happened to me at Walmart and I was getting out of my car to walk into Walmart and there was this guy he was in his car and he was like slowed down when he came like when he saw me and stuff like that and then next thing I know I hear a skirt and then he goes and park and then as I'm walking to Walmart still this guy's like hey shawty girl girl you even talking to girl girl just trying to get my attention and it started to get a little bit heinous because I wasn't like answering or anything I wasn't like paying attention to him so I reached inside my purse to grab my pepper spray just in case something happened and then a hundred dollars ended up falling out my purse which I didn't know about I had no idea that it had fell out otherwise I would have stopped and picked it up but I kept walking 
And then it's like the next thing I hear when I'm almost inside of Walmart, like, That's why I got your money, bitch. You should have answered me, bitch. I got your fucking money, you stupid bitch. And mind you, there are people outside also, like, they all hear this going on. And it's like, the stupid thing is, like, for the people, why didn't you tell me I dropped money? Two, why didn't you call the police? when you saw that he stole my money and was calling me all these obscenities and calling me a bitch and stuff like that and three i'm done with y'all uh and plus i was in the ghetto on mark so what i should have expected that what what <laughs> to the Walmart manager on duty and then he called the police officer or security officer whichever one I think it was the police officer yeah it's been a while so yeah I think it was a police officer but yeah I talked to the police officer and what he told me which was some bullshit right there what he told me was because I dropped it and left it there it was basically lost and found like bitch no that wasn't no loss and found that is some bullery bullshit right there like no that's a hundred fucking dollars wouldn't you be mad if you lost a hundred fucking dollars and somebody stole it from you like no you ain't gonna follow a police incident or something like that or at least check the video camera so that we can get the license number and shit like that you know that is some complete bullshit like uh ever since that day i've been kind of it's just uh but that was one instance of a really bullshit thing that happened and then another instance happened at AutoZone now mind you I was not looking good that day I just got up out of bed to do something for my car I don't even remember what it was but I went to AutoZone and there was this guy who was standing in line he was looking at me the whole time I was in AutoZone and stuff like that and then finally I get in line behind him and he's looking at me again. And then finally he says, Girl, what's your ethnicity? What? Are you supposed to be hitting on me with that? Like, what? He asked me, what is your ethnicity? Is that a new hit on or is that, what is that? I don't know what that is. I was like, I looked at him and then I just went on with what the hell I was doing. And then pay for my stuff. I'm leaving out of zone. And then the next thing I know, it's like that's why you need to eat more, bitch. Like what? What? What was that? So the guy, the guy, he's in his truck already. He's like stopped at a, a stoplight, and he's yelling at me from the stoplight to tell me to eat more. I'm too skinny. Like, what is that bullshit right there? That is such some foolery. Like, that is sad that you literally had to yell at me from the stop sign because you were so mad that I denied you. Like, okay, whatever. Have a nice day. As much as I eat, I can't pack on any pounds anyway, so calm down. But yeah, um, just like I said, you deserve respect if a guy is not treating you with respect when he approaches you then you have the right to not answer him you have the right to not even give him a look or acknowledge his presence you have the right so yeah treat yourself better and you will receive better basically so thanks for watching guys hope you liked this video bye